Uh, here is then the Earth. And then I have this large sphere whose radius is much, much bigger than the radius of the Earth, centered on Earth. And that is the celestial sphere. Here is the Earth's North Pole, South Pole, the Earth's spin axis. If I would extend it all the way out to celestial sphere, it would uh, puncture it at two points, one that is directly above the Earth's North Pole, and it's called North Celestial Pole or NCP in short. The one that is directly above the South Pole is called South Celestial Pole. And as I mentioned before, Polaris is near it now. and no star close to the South Celestial Pole. So these are the two important points on celestial sphere. Then here is the Earth's equator. And the line on celestial sphere that is directly above the Earth's equator is what we call celestial equator. Okay, and then for an observer that is at mid-latitudes north, uh, like us, say here, this would be the observer's horizon. And remember, I mentioned that last time when we discussed how Aristotle deduced uh, that uh, we must be living on the sphere. Uh, when one travels south, one starts seeing uh, uh, new stars above uh, your horizon at your uh, current location. Um, you can see things that are above your horizon, and you can't see anything below your horizon. So observer can see everything that is above the horizon and nothing that is below uh, his horizon. And as a result, what you see depends on where you are on the Earth because that determines the location of your horizon. So if I would extend the plane of the horizon all the way out to celestial sphere, it would make a line on celestial sphere that we call celestial horizon. Okay, and because the Earth is spinning from west to east, It looks to us that the stars are actually moving along uh, from east to west due to this daily motion. And uh, their trajectories on celestial sphere are parallel to um, uh, the celestial equator. So this would be, say, say I have a star located somewhere here on celestial sphere. 
So as the Earth spins, it would look to me that the star is moving along this circular path on celestial sphere from east to west. And note that this circle outlining the path of the star due to apparent path of the star due to its daily motion is actually parallel to celestial equator. <laughs>